Now this is Serenity Ledger video for this 2012 62 plate. Uh, Swift Contiki 679 tag axle uh, that has just come uh, with us, or to us rather, directly off the previous owner. Now, this has done very little mileage over the last uh, couple of years because the previous owner got ill and uh, uh, wasn't able to use it. So it's literally been parked up for a little while. Um, but it's got some very, very good spec on it, indeed. So uh, we'll just we'll walk around on the outside, just pointing out any markings that there may or may not be to the camper, but she's pretty good, to be fair. The towing eye, I noticed, has got, somebody's touched that in not very well, but other than that, front end is very nice. Um, it's not all pickled or pimpled. I've seen them like that down the sides before, uh, with lots of indentations. Uh, this one's very good, to be fair. Uh, in fact, so good that actually on this side, there's not a single solitary mark on it. No, it's very good. Uh, wheels are nice. It's got continental tyres. All with very, very good tread. Yeah, spotless on that side. Uh, back end, much the same to be fair. Two-piece bike rack. Tabar. A little car behind this effortlessly very shiny reversing camera at the top and the ladder it's got that as well um, down this side so you've got the um, 4.5 meter Fiamma awning it's got a safari room which you've probably seen a picture of in the garage that comes with it additional security locks on the doors it's got solar uh, all the plastics, again, are lovely. Very good to the outside. I can't... Uh, there's a tiny little... I can't even make it out. Tiny little blemish up there. You won't even see it on the camera. It's absolutely minuscule. Um, that's it, externally. But you've also got a security lock on the habitation door here. Oh yes, no, small pimple mark. I knew there was one. There. That's it. Right, internals. Now. So you've probably seen in the uh, advertisement the full specification of this camper. Um, the photographs and what have you. It, um, it's also got um, self-leveling, which is a massive option. £6,000 now for self-leveling to have it fitted. This has got it. Um, cab air con, cruise control. I'd probably be inclined to replace that radio if I was really going to buy it, or we might replace it. Looks like there's an old potty thing in there. Uh, it's got a fully fitted um, alarm system. It's got reversing cameras I mentioned previously. It's got a little sort of built-in television up here. It's quite small, which would be the reason why it's got a bigger television elsewhere. Uh, both these seats will swivel if you want them to. There's a slightly larger TV in the lounge. Um, upholstery is very nice. Uh, by this age, I've seen them, we've had them before. Uh, quite often by now, you'll see the sort of uh, jeans. They're the world's worst. On this a area here, they just get marked quite easily. So you have to take them off and have them completely um, almost dry cleaned. But this one has escaped all of that. The seats are lovely on it. I'd almost go as far as to say unmarked. In fact, they are. Uh, floor's nice. Um, we only have the carpets in the front and in the back there. We don't have them for the middle, but um, if uh, whoever buys this wants them, then we can order them from Swift in the set. That's £320, I think, something like that. Uh, all the cabinetry is nice. Control panels up here. Of course, um, whip worktops in the kitchen. Don't have any markings to them. No indentations. Find a little bit on the edge there. That's very common, but nothing to worry about. All the utilities are nice. The sink rubber here. See that? In there? That's very common, but we keep that rubber, so that could be replaced. Doesn't take too long. In fact, it would be replaced. Yeah. Um, other than that, pretty much uh, spot on actually to be fair so you've got the large Tetford fridge freezer here
and then moving into the uh, back of the camper. Steps obviously leading up. Um, another television, transverse bed as you can see. Now, that mattress is brand new. Um, sometimes you just get water stains or other markings to mattresses and uh, we just have a habit of, instead of trying to clean, because it's very funny about sleeping on second hand mattresses, just buy a new one. This is an expensive motorhome. Uh, so that's basically what we've done. We have um, bought a brand new mattress for it, had it made specifically for the camper. Uh, so that's never been slept on. So that's nice. Uh, there's access into the garage from here as well. Okay. Draw storage, wardrobe in here. One of them, it's a bit dark, you can't really see that, but you'll see it. Let's see if I can brighten it up a bit. You'll see that on the photograph, no doubt. Um, can't need more storage, and then another one here. Same thing, isn't it? Oh, there we go, that's a bit better. So, what you tend to get in these tag axle or motor homes is just uh, a lot more storage, a lot more space. Um, this is kind of space that you would accommodate, if not a little bit more, in a twin axle caravan. And you've got to go to this size of motorhome to be able to experience the same amount of internals. Microwave up there as well. That state's got an extractor fan. Uh, yeah, it's a very nice 679 with, as I said, some very, very good specification on it. Um, which, as I said, you can see in the complete list. But that self-leveling is absolutely superb. I can't emphasize it enough. Okay, that completes Serenity Leisure's uh, video for this 2012 35,000 mile Contiki 679.